seems like my recording stopped because in the free version I can only record 10 minutes at a time. But here we are, massing our... It's interesting, 10 minutes is 14 minutes in StarCraft time. But yeah, straight into the minerals. Because the guy's basically doing... he's earning a lot of money. Look at that much money he's got. But he just can't really do much. He's supply blocked. We're just about to kill his second income. Oh, that's a bit newbie. <laughs> Did he do the hold position? No, because they're moving. Maybe he's going to come and help him? Maybe not. I'm just killing the gas. He's just massing marines, as you do. Who, what does the Terran need to do other than mass marines? And then they come and try and attack me, but I've got a lot of stuff out. Oh, look at that excellent, excellent micro. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so I guess this video is going to be in two parts. <coughs> uh, yeah, transferring probes through their cannon and stalker line. What a joke. What a waste of a guardian shield. Fairly sure I didn't actually intend to push that. But yeah, just going to go and kill that Zerg uh, base off, basically. Oh, look at that. Look at those protecting me. Awesome. He's just massing his bio ball. I don't know what Pashas is doing. Oh yeah, he's just getting his brood lords out. As you do. There you go, running to avoid the broodlings. Yay! And I guess uh do make you know I would have probably left at this point. But you know, he's doing he's doing alright. He's getting all his gateways out, he can afford it. Although why he hasn't turned them into warp gates, I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, so they're not mining. Well, congratulations, that's a good idea. Oh, I missed this giant army fight. Oh well. Needless to say, we won and destroyed it. And now he's basically got no army left, and so we're just like, oh yeah, let's just go in and kill him then. Got my pretty giant army, got a couple brood lords. Corruptors turned into brood lords here. Kazan did the, uh, and it's Pashaski, did the epic brood lord rush. You know, that tactic that everyone does. Here we go, let's just trap that guy in. Stop him from coming out. Kill the spawning pool just in case. Oh, well, okay, I didn't kill the spawning pool. In fact, the spawning pool's regaining health. And kill the pylons. Protoss's only weakness. And I'm fairly sure he leaves in a minute. Just sends all his probes in. Do I have blink? Yeah. I blink away totally unnecessarily, and that's game. But that basically shows, because of this here, the importance of making sure you keep track of the enemy's probe that's in your base and scouting you. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot that he sent stuff off and tried to rebuild his base. Which, fair play to him, is the kind of thing I would do if I felt I'd been cheesed or unfairly rushed. But, you know, if we didn't plan on doing that, all we did was take advantage of the fact that he hadn't killed my probe, and that it was just here, sitting around, and I thought, hey, do you know what, I can, I can warp in a pylon, and then warp in my units into his actual base. Why he got so many pylons, I don't know. And now he has no money. That's a bit weird. 
and he just leaves. Well, no, he doesn't leave. I think he makes us. Does he make us kill all his buildings? He might do. And that is that, as they say. Oh no. What has he done? I can't actually see what is left. Oh, and then we left. Because the game ended. Because he had no forces anymore. That's that. So basically, guys... Uh, yeah. Pay attention to that scout. And I'll talk to you next time. Maybe I'll even get the full version of Bandicam.